Good afternoon friends, uh, welcome to the mid market update. Uh, once again today the Nifty in the Sensex opened in the red. Uh, Nifty was down about by 45 points odd when it opened uh, because of the weak uh, overnight US markets and also the Asian indices were trading down heavily uh, when our markets uh, reopened today. Uh, Sensex opened down by about 100 odd points. Uh, there was not enough buying scene uh, and even today being an expiry, uh, the average nifty rollover has been about approximate 38% uh, against the average of 3 month average of about 44 or 46%. So there is not even quite uh, enough uh, positive momentum build up seen in uh, rollover series also from for the next month. Uh, so that's again uh, putting a drag on uh, the overall optimism and the bullish uh, scenario of the market. Uh, sector wise uh, we have been seeing mixed bags uh, like the autos are doing uh, uh, okay on the uh, some stocks like m and uh, is almost flattish while Maruti is down uh, Tata Motors again is down by 3% after taking a knock uh, yesterday of 12% because of the poor operating margins so there is not much respite even seen uh, in Tata Motors. Uh, after so much hammering of almost 15%. Uh, banking uh, sector again, SBI is down by 2%, ICICI Bank is one of the biggest loser, down by uh, 4% today. Um, now uh, GDP data came in at 5.3%, uh, uh, which is uh, very low and uh, has not uh, surprised the analyst because the expectation was 6.15%. Uh, so, uh, uh, overall, uh, we have seen uh, very uh, negative news coming in uh, also from the uh, European uh, Union because the Spain and Italy uh, recession fears are looming large and the banks need uh, uh, fresh funding uh, immediately. Uh, even rupee is trading an all-time low of 56.40, uh, 56.50. There is no, not much respite seen there. Uh, on the other stocks, uh, SpiceJet is down by nearly 10% today uh, because they announced the result yesterday. The loss widened to 250 crores uh, versus the 59 crores uh, on a YOY basis. So that's again uh, poor results announced. Uh, and that stock is taking a beating. Uh, HDL is one stock that is up by 3% today. I will real estate up by 2% today because uh, Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council, Mr. Rangarajan has said that when the GDP figures are really down uh, and uh, so the RBI might, might uh, reduce the CRR and the repo rate. So because of that, we might see some uh, positive uh, action in banking and real estate space. Uh, Friends, that's about it uh, till the mid-market. Uh, we'll get back to you once the post-market starts. Thank you.